What is up guys, Blu-ray David here, and today we're doing more DC theories. Yeah, I want to start a series where I could do um, theories of movies and TV shows that I want to bring up, so maybe you guys can help me with this. So here we go with more theories. So, let's talk about way back into the beginning of DC movies. I'm not talking about with the Christopher Reeves and Michael Keaton movies. I'm talking about way back in 05. See, it was that time where DC had to get more serious. Okay? Because those old movies got really... I would say cheesy, but, you know, you, you want your classic stuff, but we gotta, like, upgrade the suits, you know. We can't always have the traditional, like, suits that you guys always remembered back in the comics. So, 05's uh, DC's Batman Begins. Oh my gosh, that is a great success. I enjoy the movie, but I did watch Batman v Superman. And they say Batman has been uh, fighting crime for 20 years now. So I just want to get my theories, like, where this is going off. And they, Batman says, Superman brought a war two years ago. But this movie was made 2016, and Man of Steel was made in 2013, so... Are you guys getting your years mixed up or something? Because in 2016, that would have been three years ago. Because Man of Steel came out that year. So, um, what, what is the 20 years? Do you think the Dark Knight trilogy takes place when Batman was fighting in the 90s or something? Because... If they were trying to put, like, old technology in those movies, that, that would have been fine. Um, uh, also, we, we can't um, cancel the series, because Robin is supposed to come up. And also, um, please, just don't recast other people, okay? Just, um, what is it? Uh, what was I going to say? What is it? I was thinking of it. It was about, uh, it was part of the Dark Knight trilogy and, uh, and the other series. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Batman Begins is the start off, like, of the series. Because if it's true, then it must have started first before the MCU, right? I know DC was creative first, so we gotta give them the credit. I'm trying to think, what was I going to say? Yes, yes, I was thinking, like, when when they started creating Batman vs. Superman, um, Christian Bale, he did not want to play Batman anymore, so this makes sense. Because he is done with the Dark Knight trilogy, so... Ben Affleck stepped up to the plate, whatever that means, and he took on the role of being Batman. I mean, this makes so much sense. I mean, sure, Christian Bale would have looked more awesome with a big buffier suit this time. But, um, yeah, this makes so much sense. So, maybe the Dark Knight trilogy is still continuing, but there's another sequel coming out called Batman. It, I think it's just called Batman because I saw the timeline on my Facebook page. Yeah, and is Green Lantern Corps supposed to be the last DC movie so far? I mean, is this a phase, like the phases in the MCU? Because I really want to know. Because I feel like Batman v Superman got up to like the Avengers because the Avengers was the sixth movie, but... This is not the case because Justice League, that would be the ninth movie. I can't believe we had to wait till November this year. I don't want to wait too long, but I am excited to see Wonder Woman, see like her how her backstory was, and I do. 
Zack Snyder, if you're watching this, are you part Christian, part evolutionist, or something like that? Because in Batman v Superman, uh, they were talking about God a lot. I mean, you can't call Superman a god. And, um, you can't say, uh, you can't say when God is all-powerful, he can't, he can't, uh, bring, or give mercy to you. Uh, that's not right. Um, God is all-powerful and he loves us, okay? Remember, um, he will forgive you no matter what sins you've you've done but we don't we don't want more evolution to these movies because i know that mcu is getting more into the christian uh stuff and that is good that is really good because you know disney they can't be that pagan i mean they they say some christian stuff so that must mean, like, they still have some Christian in them. And that's good. That's really good. I mean, if, if it's Catholicism, I would be okay with that. Even though I'm not their religion, but I'll accept it. But, um... Yeah, um... Robin. We need to see Robin very soon. And I know Flash, he made a cameo in Suicide Squad. But, um... I still haven't seen that movie yet. I will... watch it one time, if we do own it. I mean, I get people on YouTube when they review movies. Even though they don't like the specific superhero or the movie, they could still add to the collection. And also, there are still more Green Lantern supporters out there. That's right, guys. Um, they still do care. N not, there's not all haters who hate Green Lantern. Again, this is like a trial for him. And hopefully, like, the next movie will do better. I mean, I like Green Lantern all by himself. Just not the whole plot, dude. Do you get what I mean? Because there was a TV spot of it five years ago, and it said the num number one movie of the year. Okay, you guys finally admitted it. And when the Blu-rays came out, you guys got it. So, you can't just, like, throw it out. You gotta keep it. And also, DC, they like to be in one lineup. They, they can't be like Marvel. And by one lineup, I mean, like, they started with Batman Begins, and it goes all the way to Justice League so far. I'm pretty sure the TV shows, like, the cartoon TV shows and the cartoon movies are not canon. And there are, like, old other TV shows that came on CW before. So, um, uh, could the new CW shows be canon. Just saying because there could be a lot of theories about that because uh, I think I explained this in a video before. I'll say it again. Because remember the crossover episode with um, Supergirl and the Flash? Well, Barry, he explained how there are different um, uh, multiverses. But I have a theory about that too. Does the multiverse exist in real life? Think about it. I mean, uh, there could be parallel universes. Like, like if we went to that universe, uh, we'll see like each other, but we'll do different things, right? Like the different stuff. I mean, that will make so much sense. I mean, like. Uh, TV Flash could meet Movie Flash. I know Movie Flash is going to do great. Because uh, he's got lightning coming out of him every time he runs. And can he con control electricity? I know in a Batman v Superman, when um, Wonder Woman is watching that like security footage, and then Barry he just ran, and then almost all the power ran out. 
I mean, he can charge your phone for crying out loud. <laughs> you know? Still, it would have been awesome and funny if a Green Lantern came into the scene and told Batman and Superman, like, Stop! This is getting ridiculous! And weird! <laughs> I mean, think about it. I mean, I'm not saying that there should be a civil war with Batman v Superman. I mean, there can't be. It... It can't be called Justice League Civil War because, well, Civil War's already been taken. So I'm thinking, like, yes, there'll be Team Batman and Team Superman. Like, Team Batman, uh, Green Lantern can join, and Team Superman, uh, Flash can join. Let me know in the comments what you think other superheroes should join Team Batman and Team Superman. Because I know, um, sometimes Batman and Wonder Woman can date because... Well, here's the thing. I don't think we're ever going to see uh, Rachel again in these movies because she died. She got killed in the Dark Knight movie. And maybe that wasn't Bruce's true love, I guess. I mean, at least not anymore. And the first part of Dawn of Justice, they showed... The backstory of Batman. So, I still believe it's still the same, like, scenes, but they extended it. Like, you know, like they do with the Star Wars original trilogy? You know what I'm talking about? Like, the, um, every release that they do, they keep changing it to get the real stuff because they didn't have that technology back then. So, I'm just saying, I think DC did a pretty good job with the backstory, because it had the exact same scene where Bruce fell into the hole, but the cave looks different. Is it how it was supposed to be originally done for Batman Begins? Because if they re-release that again... Well, I know they did for the Steelbook, but if they if they did that again, maybe it would be like that. But the bats, they brought Bruce up. So, that could have been extended scene for Batman Begins. Um, yeah, that could be the theory. Uh, yeah, and also the best part of the, the last scene was Clark. He was going to propose to Lois. And how was she the key? Is she supposed to be a superhero? Oh, I remember this old TV show my brother used to watch, and I pretty enjoyed it. It was Lois and Clark, the New Avengers of Superman. There was, I think, the Red Kryptonite. Yeah, Red Kryptonite. Uh, I think, like... I think both, like, Clark and Lois touched it. And Lois had superpowers. And Clark was useless. I mean... I'm not saying a bad useless, it's just he couldn't use his powers because Lois had them. And she had a ridiculous costume, though. <sighs> yeah. So anyways, that's that's it for one of the DCEU theories. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the other DCEU theories I've done. And go check out the playlist of the DCEU movie collections. And... Guys, I hope you understand this. I mean, even though you don't like one of the superheroes or some superheroes, not the specific movies, but you should understand that you should like still get them just because for the collection. And think about it. You could you could still change your minds if if you want to see that movie. Like, oh, it's okay. It's a good movie, you know. <laughs> I probably won't for Suicide Squad, you know. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me more theories down in the comments. Austin Green. If you're watching this, you're awesome, man. Uh, I love reporting back to you in the comments. Getting uh, really dizzy right now. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always. Why? Love you guys.